Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make a Logic Beat in Logic Pro X. Okay. Um, so we're going to make this uh, in the style of um, one of his new songs called uh, Everybody. And uh, I'm not going to make a remake, but this is sort of like uh, going off the same type of um, idea with a sample um, and uh, some live hi-hats, kick snare, and an 808. Um, very simple but effective okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play you this uh, little loop that I found on a site called Looperman uh, if you don't know about Looperman Looperman is a site where you can find royalty free samples definitely check that out I'll put a link in the description for you and uh, we're just gonna play back the sample really quick and just show you what I found All right, and um, I'm going to show you the hi-hats now that we're going to be chopping up too. So these are samples that we're going to be chopping up and uh, making the beat out of. All right, so um, let's go ahead and uh, start chopping up uh, the first sample. So I'm going to mute that hi-hat again. And I'll just place it at the uh, marker here. Select it, hit backslash to uh, to cut it. If backslash doesn't work for you, you have to uh, set your hotkeys. I've shown this in other videos. Uh, if, uh, I'm not going to go through explaining that right now. It'll just take time away from the video. You can watch that in, in uh, another video. I'll put a link in the description for that too. Or even in a card right here. Alright, so uh, just chop it there. Actually, I think we can maybe bring that over there. All right, so now we have four chops of this, and uh, I already have the EXS24 sampler opened. I hit the edit button. If you don't have the edit button, you need to advance. Uh, if you don't have the edit button, you need to uh, enable your advanced tools. Also, something that I've shown in other videos. Put a link in the description for you. All right. Um, so just highlighted these samples here. I'm going to drag these directly into the sampler like so. All right, and um, I have one shot enabled. Okay, so what this does is that uh, it'll play the sample through until the you know you trigger the next sample. All right, if that makes sense, you're gonna go to create a new group. Uh, select one of these samples, hit command a, uh, command a on the keyboard, and then drag them over into the group. Go to groups and set polyphony to one. All right, so. Now I have these samples laid out down here, as you can see, right? Now I can play these back on my uh, keyboard too. Probably starts at uh, C1, yeah. So let's try and come up with like a uh, a sample chop that I guess resembles um, the samples that you hear in uh, in the uh, Everybody song from Logic. So um, I already have the BPM set to 110. That's around the same tempo as that Everybody song by Logic. And uh, let's go ahead and record something really quick. I'm going to turn my metronome on just so that I know what what sort of tempo to play these uh, samples in. something like that all right turning on my uh, countdown try that again let's 
Just double click on that to uh, reveal the piano roll. I hit Command A in this section and then Q to quantize. All right. Let's check on our volumes. Might as well bring these all up. that energy going so turn the metronome off all right so I'll stick with that and uh, let's go ahead and loop that off for another four bars like so let's work on the next section so as you can see up here, I'm you know I always use a loop a lot because I I work in different sections and uh, this way you know it doesn't if I hit enter and then the space bar so if I hit the space bar it'll uh, always start at the uh, the loop start and then end at the loop stop and then repeat. All right, so. Do these uh, hi hats really quick. I got the hi hat selected. If you double click on it, you can um, reveal it in the uh, slicer down here. But we're just going to slice it up top. Again, I'm going to use the uh, playhead position uh, slicing function that I have using the backslash button. Okay. So um, it has a lot of slices, but we'll get through maybe a few here. We don't need all of them. For this live hi hat, because it's going to be repeating a lot. All right, so the rest I'll just cut away. I'll select these samples now and. Um, Got this EXS24 sampler also for that purpose already set. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the samples, drop them in. And uh, here, I don't have to worry about uh, putting them in, the, in a group. All right, something like that. Uh, now we'll mute that glory hi-hat and uh, Start putting some uh, some hi hats in here. Let's record that. Command R to record. My countdown. And I need a metronome. All right, here we go. Right, so, just need that part. we could even bring it in like so just have that repeat let's have a snare come in As always, I'll uh, put a link in the description also for this entire project file, so you get all this, all the sounds, all the drums that come with it. As always, let's see what uh, what works with this sample here.
can have these uh, layered with something else. Let's find a kick for this. So I just uh, quantized them. Again, Command A to select them all, and then Q to quantize. Love that kick, man. Maybe have that another one drop a little later. Now maybe we can uh, start bringing in that 808. Let's make sure it's in tune or tune. C on the keyboard we want that a pure C so let's mess around with this a little bit a little more fine tuning close all right so I tune that 808 now I'm using the tuner right you find that under metering and tuner and then I'm using again the tune and the fine tune to uh, get the 808 in key all right now let's uh, try to add a little uh, Flare to this.
could do, maybe make this a little easier myself, I'm going to use this um, right here, this pattern from the kick, and then drop it down on the 808. And uh, let's see, let's bring this up. So I like that. Um, maybe we can have these be extended a little longer. dropping a limiter on here because I don't have time to like fix shit. <laughs> Alright, nice. Um, so let's listen to, uh, from the beginning and just, you know, see how everything flows. Select it all by hitting Command A. I'm going to chop them right here. And we're going to need to extend this one more time, like so. So that'll be our 16 bars. Then we'll go into the hook. And uh, I'm thinking right now, maybe there's something else we can add for the hook. Let's see what uh, our trusty alchemy has. Let's try some leads, maybe. Just something simple, you know?
got carried away. Um, Less noticeable, so I'm gonna drop an EQ and you know, I want to overpower it, you know what I mean? Just bring in elements. Compression on here, not too much. Maybe add a little bit of a glide. on the sample here maybe we can do a little bit of EQ so I'm gonna drop that high cut frequency in there and then uh, let's have it drop down like so
So we're at about 30 minutes now, almost 30 minutes, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to maybe just add one more element. Let's add maybe a vocal sample to this just to tie the tie it off. And uh, let's see what I got here. Go with the ultra beat. I think I have a Vox kit here. And as always, I'll drop a, uh, a delay on it, tape delay. Bring that feedback back. Uh, make it maybe a one two, one half note. So, make sure all these are quantized. It's too obvious, right? We want it a little, a little less obvious. Perfect. Um, what else can we break in here? Maybe a, a little bit of a break right before uh, right before that hits, like that. Cut these guys out. I think I'm gonna cut it off right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely enjoyed making it. Uh, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name's CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Peace.